all right so now let's see uh, how to change do some randomization to this cloth this guy is wearing so okay so for that first I'll open the static mesh of this guy and yeah let's uh, see okay this is the cloth material and okay so this defines his cloth what's this bottom gloss so yeah let's export this main texture into photoshop and let's open photoshop and import that texture all right so this is his texture um actually i'm not a texture artist so yeah what can we do to this anyway let's give it a try let's take a new texture new layer duplicate this layer and go here see what kind of a variation i can have all right that seems okay okay so let's do some hue saturation changes so if you want you can actually put some uh, the textures into this as well so like different cloth patterns but I'm not going to do that here so let's take this for example mm. I'll save it as bottom one a png and again let's do some other change previous one was what's the color right button two Ooh, wait a minute I think we should do the apply the same color to the boots as well otherwise it would mismatch what's the boot color yeah man. no let's worry about that later okay uh, so this is bottom 2 let's change it let's have like five variations but um did we save a png before We have saved only one okay so i'll save this one as bottom two png and undo save as i'll name this one bottom three let's have some other variation bottom 4 I think 4 textures would be enough
right let's import them now okay so actually uh, it would be better if we can implement uh, the same texture uh, within uh, by doing some material operations if we give some randomization but I just want to show you how to replace a texture so because in that way we can have other variations such as this texture details of the clothes maybe a different pattern some other data like maybe we can add some uh, markers into the here so many possibilities with that which cannot be uh, achieved with some material operations like we did before for hair color and skin color so i'll convert this to a parameter let's call it bottom texture no let's call it cloth diffuse right and apply now in the character let me open the character blueprint civilian here I'll add another function randomize cloth apply text no how did we do this before all right get the mesh apply set vector parameter material on values oh all right i think we have to create a dynamic material instance for this one so element 7 0 7 okay uh, dynamic create dynamic material instance source material is this bottom mat name optional okay then element index is 7 right get that and then set text a parameter value parameter name is cloth diffuse and value uh, let's uh, get let's make array oh, let's define a variable oh wait let's promote this to a variable cloth textures and I'll turn that into an array all right now we can get the random one like this Now here, uh, let's compile and apply these textures. Here is the original one. I put that in the first and then let's add these.
or right let's see if that works ah sorry I was I created a, a loop here to demonstrate that we don't need that now okay so now here let's call this randomized cloth function okay now they have random clothes <laughs> they don't really look good but they do have that now all right so yeah that's all i wanted to do for today so i'll stop this episode at this point and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in the next episode and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me